Welcome! For this video, we're going to talk to you about Kapitan Keling Mosque, which is a historical building that is listed as one of UNESCO's World Heritage Site and is being protected under Malaysia's National Heritage Act. A brief history of the building is that it is founded by Kaudir Mahuddin Merkin, who is at that time the leader of the Julius. Julius is an Indian Muslim community from South India. Although Kaling is an offensive term for people of Indian origin nowadays, it is actually not so considered the time when the mosque was being built. Kapitan, a word derived from the English word captain, was a representative of the Indian community, like that of Kapitan China for the Chinese community. This is where the name Kapitan Kaling gets its name. It is actually built in 1801 with 18 acres of land given by Sir George Leith, who was then the Lieutenant Governor of Penang. The mosque was built by Indian Muslim traders in Georgetown, Penang, situated at the corner of Buckingham Street, now known as Lebuh Buckingham, and Pitt Street, the original name of Jalan Masjid Kapitan Kelly. Based on my readings, the past researcher did not state the exact cause for all the Kapitan Keling Mosque constructions. However, the Kapitan Keling Mosque has undergone another phase of construction when repair work was done in 2003 at the cost of 5 million Sringgit Malaysia. Repair work had to be done due to many leaks and damage to the mosque of the buildings and the mosque had to be closed for a year during the repair works. Kapitan Keling Mosque is located at Jalan Lebuh Pit in the northwest district of Penang and it is the oldest mosque in the Penang. On 26 December 1989, the names of Lebuh Pit Street was changed to Jalan Masjid Kapitan Keling and its inauguration was done by the Penang State Government at school, which is a YB Tuan Muhammad Zain bin Haji Omar. During the Kapitan Keling Mosque developments, there are a few important dates of recognition, such as 1801, the Kapitan Keling Mosque was built, which a Morris construction feature. At 1901, Kapitan Keling Mosque became the significant feature for tourists in Penang. At 1903, due to the confusion of the public roads and the residential area built around the mosque, the mosque land area was reduced. At 1913, Kapitan Keling Mosque having the another innovations that gave its present appearance. And last but not least, on 2008, on 7 July 2008, Kapitan Keling Mosque is recognized as the World Heritage Site by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations, UNESCO. Mosques are considered to be among the key attractions in the growth of tourism. As the Islamic population is growing around the world, mosques with various designs and purposes have been built. The Kapitan Kelly Mosque is a landmark of Penang, Malaysia. The indo Mori structure is a set at the side road of Lebo Bukhilam and Lebo Pit. The Kapitan Kelly Mosque is the oldest mosque in Penang which was complete in 1801. Initially, Kapitan Kaling Mosque was built by a committee headed by the Captain Kardi Mohidi, which also known as Captain Klee. Islam is a prominent religious site in the city and the surrounding area is the home of a significant Tamil Muslim population. It is the first permanent Muslim institution in the area. Kadi Muhammad has built the mosque and he is the Chula leader world in 1801 Sir Johlay, Lieutenant Governor of Penang, appointed Kadi Muhyiddin and granted land to build a mosque on the south side of Malabar Street, or also known as Chulia Street. Unfortunately, the land for the mosque was limited to just 8 acres because of the inadequate maintenance of this site. There was another reconstruction that brought to the present appearance to the Kapitan Kaling Mosque after the previous configuration was found inefficient when the mosque was not reconstructed. 
there are a few main purpose of the constructions of the Kapitan Keling Mosque, which are within the various historical events, such as the presence of many Muslims from all over the world to Penings. Second one, provide the facilities for Indian Muslim community. It is because almost 90% of worshippers of the Kapitan Keling Mosque are Muslim Indian community. The third one, Kapitan Keling Mosque also be the cultural heritage tourist due to its aesthetic and historical value. Last but not least, through the Kapitan Keling Mosque development, tourists are also given the exposure on how Muslims perform their worship, such as prayer and perform the evolutions, which show the importance of hygiene and purity. Things like this can certainly attract their interest to know more about Islam. Okay, for this session, I will share to you about the building design in Kapitan Keling Mus Pinang. The design and architecture reserve as cultural heritage and tourist keys. The Kapitan Keling Mus is a very important symbol of the Penang Indian Muslim community. Kapitan Keling Mus is based on the concept of North Indian style which is the term is used to describe the initiative Mughal type architecture that once flourished colonial Malaya. The mosque also has adornments with the neoclassical architectural elements of the colonial style and it is a blend of both colonial and Mughal style. It is because the building materials most of the vernacular moss uh, have fine wood carving of flower motifs, particularly on wall panels, sunlights, windows, and mimbar. Okay, this is the list of tables of materials and their function that we found in Captain Kaling Moss. Although not many history on the moss construction method has been written, it was originally designed with that of Mughal architecture in mind. A prime example of the Mughal architecture is that of the Taj Mahal. The Kapitan Keling was the first superintendent of the mosque, where he brought in builders and stones from India for the project. The original mosque structure was a single-story rectangular building with a sloping roof on all sides and surrounded by a stone bench. The whitewashed mosque is topped with large golden yellow Mughal stupa domes, crescents and stars that features a single typical Indian Islamic minaret. Kauder Mohuddin also brought in artisan for them to embellish the building with intricate details like miniature step minarets, oil lamp niches, heavy stucco mouldings, lattices, as well as fine ventilations. Masjid Kapitan Keling is located at Jalan Masjid Kapitan Keling or formerly known as Pitt Street. The mosque was built by Muslim Indian traders around 1800. In the 1910s, upgrading work was done by adapting the Mughal architecture of the addition of domes, small towers, a large tower and a madrasa. This upgrading work was complete in 1916. Furthermore, subsequent upgrades were made in 1930 which gave the design of the Kapitan Keling Mosque the same as the current design. The addition and expansion of the mosque has made the original building of the Kapitan Keling Mosque can no longer be seen today. The modification was made because the original design was considered less practical. In order to preserve the features of its original traditions, this mosque was not rebuilt but only enlarged. Among the main work was done at that time was to raise the ceiling in the main prayer room, improve the ventilation system and improve the lighting system. The entrance is also enlarged and transformed into a vertical rectangle shape that has a small tower decoration on its sides and small domes on it. The current mosque was built in 1916 to replace the previous 
building. Several architects from the West were appointed by the Wakaf Board of the Mosque to upgrade the infrastructure and construction of the mosque beginning in 1909. Later, in 1920, the firm Stuck and McNeil was appointed for the work of upgrading the mosque including the repair of the roof section. One of its architecture, C.G. Bauche is one of the most beautiful mosque supervisors in the world, the Zahir Mosque in Alostar. The dome was the mosque is over 200 years old, has been replaced several times including in 2000, 2005 and 2010. For interior design section, Kapitan Keling Moss provide incorporated both the wood carvings and plastic renderings, especially on the interior walls. The moss complies with the ancient rule of the Qiblat, which means the face in the direction of the Kaaba. This is also the direction Muslims must face when praying. Calligraphy was added to the interior of the main dome and walls. Okay, as we can see inside the mosque, it have decorated with chandelier on the ceilings, which is the interior had white marble floors and a high ceiling to create more interior space. The color inside of the building use white color, which means the second most associated color with Islam. The color white symbolize purity and peace when the Muslim do their ibadah. There is a tall tower on the ground that is known as Mimbar, where the Azan or call to prayer is announced. It is also used as the Islamic Information Center. At the outside of the mosque, it covered walkway at the north side of the mosque. The Kapitan Kelim Mosque is the heritage building in Malaysia, hence the mosque is one of the tourism places for origins to visit. One of the historical events that happened was when the Kapitan Kling Moose had been listed among the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, which the Moose is 220 years old in 2021, where the assist of the expansions of Islamic regions for Indian Muslim in Penang more recognizable in Malaysia. Before the Moose was built at Penang, the site where the Moose was being developed, Pinning became a focal point for the Indian Muslim community conduct their business. Therefore, because of this event, Captain Kaudi Muhyiddin developed Captain Kalimus for Indian Muslim can worship peacefully. And lastly, the event that been occur every year is Georgetown World Heritage Day. Every year, the Captain Kalimus attracts about 3,000 foreign tourists. As because the mosque has its own charm especially regarding to history of its existence and the design of the Taj Mahal in India which make more people attend the Georgetown World Heritage Day.